hi guys hi everyone welcome back to my channel i promised this video our uh, live probably live stream of it some months back but i have not had the opportunity to come in front of the lens or camera lens to just talk to you guys so since we're in the spirit of <laughs> talking and just getting acquainted with one another um, especially for those who are new to my channel thank you so much thank you welcome i'm just so happy that you're joining me and you decided to just click subscribe listen for whatever reason yay thank you um yeah thank you for subscribing thank you for viewing thank you for your likes and shares you guys are amazing you guys are amazing okay Thank you for all that supports me and um, the people that continue coming back to view me for whatever reason. My dear, your views, eh? It gives me encouragement. <laughs> it gives me encouragement. It helps a lot. So thank you so much. Yeah, welcome to Talkinson. And on this channel, we talk about social religious issues. Okay? And today, we are not actually doing any of those because we also look at life issues and do fun things around here. So it's not always like social religious. We also do life things. Um, I think that, like literally whatever that makes me happy here, we are doing it. <laughs> um, but at least for today. So this video is actually about doing a get to know me. I haven't actually done this video or this topic or this tag um, in my channel and I think it's fun to do. One of the fun things I actually really like shooting, one of the ones I like shooting, especially last year, is um, the YouTube struggles and issues with being a YouTuber or content creator in a public platform like YouTuber, uh, like YouTube. So that was, I really enjoyed that. And I think that is some energy of, or kind of enjoyment I'll be using to answer these questions, if not a better energy. Okay. And I'm hoping you are keeping well, to be honest. And COVID is not, um, has not affected your family members, at least much to the extent of death. But on that note, let's begin. Okay. So the questions is like, um, getting a list of a list. Well, this is list of about me tag. So it just asks different questions and I'll answer them. The ones I can't answer, I'll just leave them. <laughs> okay. So if you want to get to know me because I get, yeah, keep watching because I think people think they know me. And perhaps you have some knowledge about me, but you may not know everything about me. So if there's anything that you think that is new here or you didn't know or you never expected, please don't forget to comment below and let me know what they are. So yeah, do the need for though. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Okay, thanks. So the first question asks, what is my full name? Um, I struggle to tell my full name on public platform like this. Because hello, because cameras are around and you don't know what people use your name for. <laughs> But I'll tell you what my full name Ogechi means. Ogechi is actually a full name. The full name is called Ogechuku Kamma. Ogechuku Kamma means God's time is the best or time of God is the best if we take it from how it is said. So Oge means time. Okay. Chi means God in our language and um, Kamma then means is, is better. Okay, God's time is the best or the better. So that's what the full name of Ogechi is. Um, what does your name mean? I've actually said it. That's the second question. That's what it means. God's time is the best or time of God is better. Um, are you named after anyone? No. <laughs> no. Um, my name, I have like four names or five names. And... Perhaps my confirmation name is named after someone. Um, possibly be baptismal name, but I'm not sure. Um, but my names are given to me by my mom, my dad, my grandfather, and then baptismal and confirmation. I chose my I chose my own confirmation name. Um, God, sorry, I mean confirmation. I'm a Roman Catholic, so yeah. Um, does your name make an interesting anagram? I'm not sure what anagram is, so I'll leave that one. Is um that's a third question. 
Uh, fourth question. The fifth one says, if you had to change your first name, what would you change it to? Okay. <laughs> um, I, I have two names that I'm called. One is Sogechi, which is for those that do not know me from home. If you don't know me from home, that's the name you'll be calling me. <laughs> but people that know me from home call me different name. Um, but I chose Ogechi as the name. I mean, it's the first name in my um, passport anyways. Um, where are you from? Um, from Nigeria and born bred in Nigeria for some parts of my life. But I'd say um, I'm also from Birmingham and I say Birmingham because I chose Birmingham is my home away from Nigeria. Even going, I remember when I went back to Nigeria, it was great. I think remembering coming back to Birmingham. Well, it's not Birmingham. I live like, well, I'll call the city of Birmingham. I live it there. I wouldn't tell you the town I live in. But just coming back, especially just going through that motorway, like thing, just, just coming back. I can't, I can't make tangible the feeling of feeling like I'm home. So basically, if I'm to say Britain, Britain is my home, I don't know if that would be, um, that would give me the same feeling as saying I live in Birmingham, at least the city of Birmingham, or area of Birmingham, whichever one. I don't live Birmingham, Birmingham, but that's the area I live. I just choose that as my area of living. What I choose is what I choose. Thank you. But I like the place I live. Oh. I love the place I live. But for the sake of argument, everyone knows Birmingham. Oh yeah, take it. It's Birmingham. But I live in a place outside of Birmingham. Okay, where are you from? Where were you born? Nigeria. Where did you grow up? Half in, well, I was going to say half in Nigeria. Half. I've grown up more here. Probably half in Nigeria, half. No, not necessarily half. I've spent more years in England, to be honest, than is in Nigeria. Um, who did you look up to growing up? Nobody. My mom, actually. If we're looking at from a religious perspective, yes, my mother. Yeah, my mom, maybe. I don't know. I never really looked at other aspects of other people's life. The truth about the matter is I never really look up to anyone for moral. The only person my mom taught me to look up to is Jesus. So do you have to only look up to <laughs> I only look up to God. That is what I was taught. So no one, there was never, I was never one of those people that people put role models in front of. No, my only role model was my mother and then God. That's the two people. Even my sisters, I wouldn't say they are my biggest role model. No way. So, um, yeah, I definitely would say um, God. That's the only person that was uh, I was introduced to. <laughs> um, what are your best characteristics? What do you think are my best characteristics? Actually, you've been viewing me for some time, and you're viewing me now. What do you think are my best characteristics? I'll tell you actually in another video. That would be really good. Um, I'm trying to do a video on pretty privilege and I think you absolutely enjoy it. And that perhaps in that video I'll tell you what my best characteristics according to people has told me. At least what people have told me and what I think I know. Okay. What are your favorite things about yourself? <laughs> if you get it, you get it. <laughs> <laughs> um, which of your parents are you closest to my mother which of your parents are you more alike to my father who are you <laughs> who are your grandparents still married my grandparents are dead they were all married before they died <laughs> they still were still there I say at least from my mom's side I say they died like Romeo and Juliet quite honestly that's how they died <laughs> um yeah, it was good to see that relationship. Although I was very young, still a child, not even up to six years old, not even up to four. I don't even know. Probably three years old when he died. I'm not sure. What I what is the best, or if not five? Definitely very young. So the next question I ask: um, What what relative was important? No, what relative was important to you growing up, and why? None. 
uh well i did leave my cousins so though perhaps that family was the closest to family i had outside of my own family um what is the one thing that you've never revealed to your parents no let me ask you that question what is the closest the, what, what is it that you have never revealed to your parents why you come and ask me ah please have seats you're not asking that one but i would like to think my mom knows the most everything about me to be honest um what would your parents have named you if you were the opposite gender hmm. i've never thought of that actually i'm very proud of like my heritage and just knowing the meaning of my names you just give me the hope and i just felt like some of these names are chosen you may not even know it yeah but some of these names are chosen to, by people that can just foresee your future and the things that you'll pass through you know when we look at the bible yeah sorry not to go biblical too much but you know when jesus uh, name was told to mary john the baptist name was told to mary the idea there is to fulfill there was a fulfillment there was a destiny that we're meant to fulfill so i would not lie to you my names have sometimes i use them to pray because yeah the meaning that they carry i just felt like uh, whoever named me they actually knew they are, perhaps they just saw my personality as i was being born <laughs> it would be in my stomach and just named it so yeah definitely uh what is the best physical order oh what do you call your grandparents papa and mama Nuku, mama, papa, mama. That's pretty much it. I don't even remember calling them names because I never really so got to see them properly. So I don't even know. I mean, I say they died very young. So uh, when I was young, I mean, what is the best uh, physical features that I have? Thank you. <laughs> What is the biggest fan, uh, big, your biggest fear? Actually, I'm skipping number 20. I wouldn't want to make this video too long. For big, <laughs> so number 20 asks, what is the, I would, I don't know how long, it's quite long actually. Number 20 asks, what is your biggest accomplishment? Living. Every day I wake up, is there an accomplishment? <laughs> Every day I'm able to carry out any task that I'm done, do my work, I have accomplished. <laughs> because i've learned that all the certificates degrees and everything that you go for one them if you don't have life how are you going to use it <laughs> so my dear breathing is an achievement in my own book here and right now um okay i don't know if the other ones there's more here but i will just probably stop around here because i don't want it to be too long um oh maybe i can do three more um the question asks what is your biggest fear not going to heaven. What is your biggest regret? Regret. Listening to the word and doing something. Till today, I realized that you know everything that people tell you you can do. It's not everything you can do because some things have repercussion upon your life. Um. Just don't follow everything that is in the world. That's what I'm learning. Still learning. Um, but then again, there's the grace of God there. Uh, what is your eye color? Dark brown. Sometimes it can go light, depending if the sun hits it. <laughs> but mostly dark brown. You may not notice it, but it's dark brown. What inspires you? Uh, life. Life inspires me. I enjoy. I would. I would want to say money, but no, money doesn't inspire me to do things that much. No. But I always say I like money, but money doesn't. It's never my inspiration per se. It's a means, though. Um. But life, as like a pass, I will stop here. But life, life is beautiful. Even the life challenges in itself, when you finish overcoming it, or at least when you have gotten a grab or hold of what it is that you're struggling with and make sense of it, there is some sort of liberation or joy it gives you. I like going out for a walk actually, and just especially in the nature. I love woodlands because I grew up in the village. So I guess the only thing I would say I really miss about home from in Nigeria would be that nature. 
although a lot of things have changed now it's almost like now where i live the things have really developed since i left um but just being one with nature running through the is, that's why i always want to go to, back to the countryside because i like that i like that peacefulness i also like the host go about going about the hustle and bustle that comes with city but if you ask me where i want to live i don't know this question ever ask it <laughs> you'll be going back somewhere called village or country life countryside i like peace in those areas i like nature so much i just walk and just hear the birds chirping da, da, da. the leaves the grass there is a scenario about simplicity of life at least when i was growing up i enjoy so much so but that's it let's not keep it too long on that note i hope you got a bit much oh you know, a little bit to know about me <laughs> and yeah thanks for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe if you like this video until next time signing off talk soon